Hi guys, I'm super excited. Welcome. Today I uh, finally got my Inzer belt. And this one is actually a different belt. It's an Inzer Pre-R belt. Uh, and as you can see on the right here, um, on the screen, I actually just got it. It was $140 US and I'm in Canada. So they contacted me and there's actually a $34 on top of that for customs and fee. Total, it was over 200 bucks, pretty much Canadian, and uh, it took about about two months, I would say, around there to arrive. So I'm gonna be opening it. I already just cut it, uh, just so that you don't see that during filming uh, the edges. So let's just uh, take a look at it. And wow, this thing looks very daunting compared to the old one. I'm gonna grab the, the other belt, but I got a royal blue one. So in it, that's all you get is the belt, and you get this little thing that says, let's see here, it's a patent. So this did take a while. I'm actually gonna demonstrate it first without having it on me because if I mess it up while taking it off, it's gonna be extremely comfortable. Um, so I'm gonna guess this is actually gonna go the other way. So it's actually a really nice uh, blue color, but it's supposed to be in this way. So I got mine's a medium size, and oh man, this is actually needs to be worked in. So um, the belt on its own. So here's the lever. You can hear it. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the camera, or I'm just gonna walk to the camera so that you can see more of it over here. So here's the lever. You see that? That's exactly how you hear all the clicking and how thick it is as well. The quality seems extremely good. Look at that. This is actually extremely. Uh, tight compared to the other one where the other one which I'm gonna bring it you can actually uh, unscrew it and screw back in whereas this one uh, it's pretty much right on there you can't move it at all uh, hopefully you can see it over here with these uh, any of these screws here so it was extremely difficult already to, um, to to turn it the other way around and this here here's how the strap is held with another type of nail that is uh, doesn't seem to be movable. So, well, why did I decide to switch? One of them is I needed an Inzer belt uh, if I were to compete. The interesting part is it doesn't even say Inzer on this belt at all. So that's gonna be, could be problematic. Um, this is called the Inzer PR belt. I'm about a 32 waist and it's so, so let, let's just go ahead and play around with this and see if I can put it in. Okay. So the way it works is once you insert it, uh, you'll be able to see that it's constantly tightening it as I pull it through. You see that? I'm going to do it again. And it's pulling. It's pulling the strap right here. See? This is moving more forward. So, um... I think one of the issues you may find with the other lever belt is that it's going to overlap itself as well over here just like uh, the regular lever belt. So let's see. In terms of the, the actual height, in terms of the actual height, uh, it is the same. In terms of the thickness, um, it seems that this, my old belt, is either very worn because it's a lot more loose uh, in terms of thickness it might be the blue one the new PR Inzer belt might be uh, just a little bit thicker or it's actually that uh, mine's just completely worn uh, which should be a 10 millimeter um, one so I'm gonna try this on afterwards but if you look at the stitching the stitching is different as well. I have double stitching on this one, on the end of the extremities, right here, the end of the extremities, whereas this one is a single stitching on the end of the extremities. The other thing 
is that if you look at the back of the lever, you can screw it, unscrew it, and you can also move it to your designated waistline, and you can adjust it. Uh, the lever also uh, has a hook. If if you haven't seen, it has a hook right over here. Uh, it's almost like a, a cobra or like a type of venomous snake uh, in terms of the hook. And then you'll strap it on, and mine's really warm, but you'll strap it on over here. That's why it's a little bit ripped over here. So what, what I meant was it'll overlap. So when I put it on, when I put it on and I close it, let me just close this here. So okay, so now it's closed. So this is what about a 32 uh, waist. And it's closed. You see this part here? That part overlaps, and that's actually going to go, going to dig into uh, your stomach. So the way it'll look is like this. And I know that some people like to put it a little bit higher, uh, some people a little bit lower, depends on what, what, what your prefer preference is. So, what I really like about this belt, and this is the reason why I got it, is with the traditional belt, you You'll see Ronnie Coleman do this. Is like he'll go to like a pole and he'll just keep on pulling, it and then until he pulls it, and then he knows right the right uh, tightness is, and that takes a lot of time. So what I did, or what I decided to do instead, is I want to focus more on having that, uh, having that, uh, I guess having that luxury of just having on and off whenever I need to. So when I tighten it, of course you'll need to you need to uh, have your stomach in and then now it's pretty tight. Um, you can see a little, you can barely see it but it's pretty tight actually and you can feel that my core is definitely engaged with this. Um, the issue I've had with this and it's cause maybe because I'm positioning it a little bit too low is that it sometimes it hits my uh, my bone here right over here and it has caused a little bit of uh, of uncomfort so um, that's why it's better for you to put it a little bit higher so when I'm squatting sometimes I want to be careful as well because it might hit your rib cage if you put it too high so that's the that's that's one of the things you have to be careful about. However, the belt feels really good. I went from the regular traditional belt to the lever belt, and because I'm gonna be competing, I heard there's gonna be some strict rules that you need uh, a designated belt. So this one is the one I decide to go for. So uh, it probably doesn't even feel, feel right until it's broken in. But let me just uh, put it on once I figure out how to take this off. And I'll show you exactly how that works. All right, so I figured it out after reading the instructions again. Uh, the reason why I had difficulty is one of them is I'm not sure in terms of what the ratchet is and then the mechanism, uh, which is fine. I mean, originally there's a little bit of a learning curve. So with that being said, so I've loosened it, and what you need to do is you need to open it all the way to 180, and then once it's at 180, it stays in that position, and then you can be able to loosen up just by pulling it pretty much with your stomach and then your hands. So I'm actually going to put it on and demonstrate it. So let's see here. So it takes, it's a little bit, in terms of the setup, it's, it is longer. Uh, it is definitely longer than, um, than the lever. Uh, but once you're used to it, it's definitely going to be different. It's going to be, because this one can adjust itself uh, pretty much uh, to the exact fitness, whereas the lever, you had some, you had some, uh, some degree of uh, adjustments, uh, increments, but not as precise as this one. So the issue I'm having right now is that it, when I put it on originally, uh, I had to use the floor as a leverage to put it on. Now I'm having difficulty putting it back on, um, and then I'm going to have to put the strap back on as well. So as you can see here. Let's see. There we go. I have it in. Okay. So it's in. Just gotta break break it down. 
So now, what I do want to do is I want to uh, bring the nylon back in. strap back in and the strap goes right in here so it goes through the buck and I'll, I've always shown it to you uh, as a close up but it's different once you start putting cavity on you so now what I'm doing is I'm tightening it and you can feel it being tightened as I keep on going so as soon as the strap is in uh, it's actually getting tighter and tighter which is great. So the initial setup is about the same. So now I can say, okay, you know what? For this type of lift, this is how tight I want to be. And the other advantage is sometimes if you wear a shirt or a sweater on top, uh, the thickness of what you're wearing uh, will have to change based on uh, what you're wearing. So with the lever, you have to either adjust it, and if it's not the right size, uh, you'll have to unscrew it, un unscrew it back, uh, back. I've noticed you can actually get away with maybe a dime or a quarter to just screw it if you don't have a screwdriver. With this one though, you'll be able to get away with pretty much the tools are on the belt to begin with. So it feels pretty tight. I got a medium, like I said, I'm a 32. Uh, this is what it looks like. So let me just, so this is how I secure it. Hopefully uh, you can see, hopefully you can see that I've was able to secure it over here so I was able to secure this is what it looks like it feels good um, and if I need to tighten more that's very simple I just gotta pull it again so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to uh, pretty much perform an exercise as if I was doing properly so let's see here if I were to squat Feels about tight. Squeeze it in a little bit. Tighten it. Okay, feels tight. Okay, so that felt pretty good. Let's show from the side here. From the side. Good as well. Might tighten just one, one more here. There we go. That feels a little bit tighter. And of course, I'm not wearing the right pants, so it feels like it's about to fall. But in terms of the way it feels, it feels really good. If I were to deadlift, <sighs> yeah. I might have to lower it a little bit more though. Okay, so now I'm gonna loosen it. And the way you would loosen it is you're gonna grab these two, there's these two, um, I might as well just uh, lower it again. There's these two, um, I don't know, these two things that's, that's pretty much for your fingers. And with your index and your middle finger, that's what they meant. You're gonna pull this, you can pull it forward this way, and now what it does is it completely removes the engagement from that lock and clicking mechanism that you heard. And you're going to pull it all the way to 180. There you go. So now it's completely loose. You're seeing that this is rotating, and I'm just pushing with my stomach right now. And finally, you push, push it enough, you keep on pushing it, and it comes off. So what I'm going to be doing, uh, what I'm going to be doing next time is, first of all, I got to break this, but what I'm going to do next time is give you a little bit of a, uh, of a video of my review on using this belt. So far, it seems very sturdy. It seems pretty good. Inzer has delivered um, belts that are really, really highly recommended from a lot of other people who exercises. But other than that, thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Nice.
Thank you.